Imagine yourself, you are there right now. Be there now. Imagine, you're right there. What do you see? I'm closing the door to another dimension. Yes. I'm here and now. Yes. I'm, I'm a man. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm a very old, really old man. Like a 468 years. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a really old man. Uh, it's not Earth, but it seems like Earth. A uh, very similar planet to Earth doesn't exist. Uh, in our reality, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm wearing a clothes. Yes, a mm. cloth. I'm wearing a clothes. Uh, what kind? I have what what kind, kind of clothes? Uh, it's like a ruby, a ruby color, ruby, mm. ruby color. Mm -hmm. A very long clothes with a sleeve, not sleeves, sleeves, sleeves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sleeves are like this. Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, very gentle hair. And I have hands. Very gentle hands. Mm -hmm. Very, very, I wouldn't say small, but like he has never, you know, like never physical work. Yes. Very gentle. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, yes. So, uh, and I, I have boots, I have golden boots. The boots are quite important. Mm. Right? Tell me more about the boots. Uh, they're multidimensional boots. Tell me more. Yeah. It is like Maybe it's a clockwise. Maybe he's a keeper of the clock or something. Mm. Uh, and you can go up clock or down clock. <laughs> I don't know if it makes any sense, but up clock or down clock. Mm -hmm. And yes, and what do your surroundings look like? Can you describe them? Uh, five hundred years ago, the surrounding five hundred years ago, the earth is completely different. Mm. Lots of animals. I'm serious. Lots of animals. It's like the, the earth is it's inhabited by animals mm. mainly. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of people as well. But they are living they don't live in the cities. They live in the I wouldn't say cave like but mm. in nature. Yes? Mm -hmm. The weather is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. There's no storms and uh, like summer all the all day and then the, the animals are like separate and the people are separate, but they live in symbiosis. Yes. Yes. Um, and the energy of that is so vibrant. So vibrant. Earth itself, it's a uh, uh, okay, coming back to the Tesla, yes, mm -hmm. idea, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So the air is like the the, the big Tesla, the Tesla um, device, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. So energized and it uh, radiates this, this energy, yes. Yes. To, to people, to plants, to 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 sun and bug and oh, I got goosebumps. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Tell me the color of this energy. What did, what color is it? What colors are you seeing? And what else are you mostly, seeing? Mostly, mostly gold. Gold. Okay. Oh my goodness! Mostly gold. And what what is happening now in your body as you're feeling? Ah, uh, 
I got goosebumps about the cold, coldness part. It's like a silver lining. Mm. Yes? It's not the gold, gold, uh, as we see it. It's the gold, the purity, uh, mm. the integration. Uh, it's the unity, is is the nature, all that is, is, is in this gold ray. It's the gold uh, frequency, let's say, for us, yes? Mm -hmm. uh, but what is strange about this place is that every human, every animal, every plant, uh, to the smallest, yes, mm -hmm. particle, the, the ant, let's say the ant, or the, the what you have in the ocean, the thingy, what, uh, the little thingy, uh, the plant, plankton, plankton? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Plankton, yes, so from the, let's say, giraffe, to the plankton, that they, they have the same uh, DNA that's uh, coming from the stars, mm. yes? Mm. And the particle connect every, every, every being in the whole galaxy, yes? Mm, beautiful. And that's what, that's what the boots are about, mm. yes? The uh, multi-connected shoes, the mm. golden ray uh, is in this earth as well, yes? Yes. So whatever happens in this earth is like uh, radiating mm. to, di to different earths, yes? So if people want to uh, combine the worries, mm -hmm. yes, into the golden sphere, they can imagine this or they can picture themselves among those humans mm. and they are welcome to those humans. It's a it's a new race. It's not this earth. Mm. It's a it's a reality. Yes? Yes. Uh, inhabitants they are mostly hybrids. They are families like a Capital F A M I L L Y, yes, mm -hmm. family. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are saying, I'm communicating with them. They are saying that they they welcome people to recognize themselves as them, as themselves, because they are one. Mm. Uh, genotype. Genotype, genotype. Mm -hmm. yeah. Genotype, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, genotype, one genotype, yes. Mm -hmm. Human, like human, capital H. Mm -hmm. Human, yes. Mm -hmm. It's an important message, yes, it is an important message. Human, yes. And the Mother Earth, which we see it, Mother Earth, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's part of their journey. Yes, it's uh, like they have it in their hearts. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, they, it, it's a symbiosis, they live together and they feel their heartbeat. Uh, so, uh, it's something weird. What, what do you, what's, what do you see, what do you feel, what do you hear? Because it's like a, all the needs the need, the need of the animal, yes? Mm -hmm. So let's say that the animal needs a grass, right? Mm -hmm. So because they evolved so much, I mean seriously so much, uh, they, can, they can feel the need of the animal, yes? So mm -hmm. they get together, some of them, yes? Mm -hmm. They get together and they are uh, seeding the grass mm -hmm. and they are planting it and they are looking after it and uh, like for the grass animal, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and some other people, they are working, uh, let's say, with children only. And it's not only women, it's like mostly men looking after the children, the smallest one, mm -hmm. yes? But it's the egg is like a coordinator, yes, in this frequency of golden light. Mm -hmm. uh, 
for us to understand, yes? Mm -hmm. And it's a very strong connection with the cosmos. Uh, it's like a, almost like a cosmic radiation mm -hmm. coming, th coming through air uh, uh, to the core of the air. It's like uh, the air itself, yes? Mm -hmm. And then from air radiating through the crest crest of crest of air mm -hmm. crest crest of air radiating out uh, so it's uh, it's not very it's not very high of energy it's a little bit lower so mm -hmm. human and the animal can take it mm -hmm. yes but it's like a sub coordination from the cosmos to air from air to the crest of the earth up to the humans and the animals, yes, mm -hmm. and uh, the animals and the, the nature is like overlooking. <laughs> it's so beautiful, organized. It's so beautiful. It's overlooking uh, everything, truly. Truly, it's overlooking everything. And uh, yeah, and it's coming back to earth. Yes. Mm. So act feel uh, the, feel the nourishing. Yes, mm. and more she feel the nourishing, more she she is able to give away, and it's coming back, and that's the wave, uh, like a wave uh, of love, uh, radiating through the cosmos, back to the people and to animals and nature. It's so beautifully organized. And what, is, what is your role here in this society? That's a very good question. I'm like, uh, so Ed is here and I'm here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I'm like, oh. Not observing, not watching. I just know it exists. Mm -hmm. I just know it exists. Uh, it's like my favorite place to watch. Mm. Yes, mm. like oh, they are doing so well. They are doing so well. Like my heart is uh, radiating the love to them. Yes. Mm. I don't think that they know that I know that they know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but uh, I love this place. I simply love this air. I love this air. Yes. These humans, these hybrids, this species that you're seeing, mm. what is their name? Do they have a name? They call themselves humans, mm. people of nature. That's mm. what they what they say, people of nature. Mm -hmm. People of nature. People of nature. Mm. And now you're feeling the love. Your body is full of love and light from observing them. Yeah. And you're in a such beautiful place of love. I feel like you're not feeling like on, I'm on the hammock, look at the hammock, hammock. Yes. And you can imagine uh, the most magnificent place possible, seriously. The most beautiful place possible. Mm. And you are on the hammock. That's the feeling. Mm. Beautiful. Beautiful. As you're lying there on the hammock, I want you to look at your left hand and tell me what you see. Is there an object in that hand? A triangle. Mm. What color is it? Excuse me, blue. Okay, blue. And, yeah. Okay. In this blue triangle, I want you to merge your body 
in the blue triangle. You're slowly, slowly, slowly merging with this beautiful blue triangle. What are you experiencing? Peace. Mm. What else? I would say don't existence. Yes. Mm. From my understanding, it would, it would be a black hole. Uh, but it's like a new star is bursting. New mm. star is bursting. You're going through this phase of black hole, like mm. tunneling. Uh, that's the state. Peace. Would you like to experience the space? Yeah. Okay. Let's go there. Let's go into this void, this black hole that you mentioned. Be there now. It's easy. You're there right now. What are you experiencing? So I'm sitting on the black hole. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm uh, okay. I'm Martian. I'm Mars. Mm -hmm. Martian. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a little one. Uh, pardon me. Uh, one meter fifty or something. Uh, green hair. Uh, mm -hmm. I have something. I have something to talk here. Mm. Uh, what is your mission? To go through the void and mm. discover. That's a mission. What are you there to discover? Are the species? Hmm. I'm like a missionary mm. uh, from my civilization. I'm 268. Hmm. Uh, like a story of my life. Tell me more. Yeah. So that's Groot. Groot? Groot, you remember? Yes, where, where is Groot right now? Oh, he is on that. Do we have permission to talk to Groot? Because we want to talk. He mm. just wants me to know mm. that what, whatever I'm experiencing, we are connected. Uh, he never left that. Uh, he's in the energy body now. Mm. He can't talk because his energy is so powerful. It would be overwhelming for me. Mm. But he wants me to know that he's always watching after me. And he cry and laugh with me. Mm. Uh, so that's why we're having this conversation. And uh, he's thanking me for the first time. Thank you. Thank him. Th say thank you, Groot. Thank you for being here. Thank him in your mind. And ask him what message he has for you. Don't be afraid to speak up. Mm. Don't be afraid to tell who you are. Don't be afraid to talk about Osiris. It's important. Mm. Tell people about other worlds. It's possible for them as well. We are no strangers. We are on that. Not only from the sky, but from the earth. Many of us came first to raise the vibration so others can come. We don't have shape, but we have energy body, very strong for people. You might feel the goosebumps, you might feel the energy under your feet and also experience the dizziness. We are a vortex of Earth.
Groot, may I ask you a question? He will try to answer. Mm. Which dimension are you from? From Source, mm. directly. And how long have you known Alexandra for? Thousands of years. Mm. You've given her beautiful messages and she loves you deeply. What, what message do you have for humanity, for the collective? There are many things on earth we don't know about. How much we are loved by source. He is showing me different dimension how the earth might look like. So you have like a Sasquatch mm -hmm. among humans. And people look like humanoids. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what else is he showing you? A bridge. The humans here in this dimension is to bridge the heart with source more often. And how can they do that? <sighs> to open to the possible contact with different beings of high frequencies who are already on Earth. Let's ask Root to give you let's let's ask Root to give you some healing. I want you to imagine this beautiful blue triangle again and breathe and cry. Let it out. Let it out. Allow your emotions to flow. Groot is here. His people are here. You are loved, you are loved, you are loved. I know. You're deeply, deeply loved. He wants to say something. Yes. People of Earth, we are no humans. We've never been human. But we love you, we watch you, we energize your food, we energize your being to grow expansionally into the new frequencies tapping on that. <sighs> Eat your food. Knowing it's coming from source for you. Look after your body. Connect to sun. Connect to source. Through the sun. Into your heart. Place your left hand on your forehead and be there. What is happening now? It's for humans. 
they do the convention with souls through the sun. And they place left hand on their forehead. It's constant peace. Through the spine. Through the whole body. They have to be given. They are so strong. Lights on earth. You want us to know that they might not see us as we see them. They see us as equal, exceptionally like humans, that's how they see us, all of us, they will never stop support our job, never. Go, go. He is saying that he loves you and he is with you as well. Thank you, Groot. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here today and for Alexandra, for being with her, for giving her so much love and showing her so much love all these years. Groot, may I ask you some questions that Alexandra has? There's another being here. Who is here? Arcturian. Mm. Please describe and tell me more. We are young generation of Arcturians. Not from the old ones. We are created Arcturians and lucky race. Mm. We have some DNA from humans as well. I'm very pleased to be connected with you at this time of your time. Thank you for being here. May I ask, do you have a name? X. X. And what is your relationship to Alexandra? herself in the future. Mm. She is multidimensional being and she knows it. Mm -hmm. We are connecting herself now. X, thank you so much for being here. Alexandra has some questions she'd like to ask. May we ask them? Yes, please. Thank you very, very much. We are very grateful for you being here. Alexandra it's would... my great honor and pleasure to be a service for you. Mm. Thank you. Alexandra would love to know if quantum hypnosis is something that is aligned with her true, true self and her true mission. She wants me to answer this question. Mm. I know that. What would you say? What would you say? If someone asked you the same question, if my mission is worth it, to be fulfilled, what would you say if, if your mission is quite important to you? Would you ask that question again? On the contemporary side of new earth, as we are, Living it, I would mind ask another question. Mm. Mm. May I? I would ask how quantum hypnosis shocked 
can serve others. We are new generations. We see people differently. In every session we are, in every human, human evolve into a new version of themselves. So in quantum hypnosis like this one, you can exceptionally show love for yourself, connect with source, and also experience what you call future. Quantum is a dot in the universe with the centered, centered energy in the human body. So this dot into the coherent place with the spirit guides, every person has access. Every answer, that's the quantum part of the name. Does it answer the question? Yes. Yes. Thank you. She, thank you for the answer. She simply must ask it in a different way. So thank you for that answer. We appreciate you. Thank you. A moment, please. A moment, please. Yes. We are Victorian. Yes, we are. Hello, thank you, thank you. Is this X that I am speaking to? He is here as well. Hello, everybody. Um, Alexandra, thank you for answering uh, our questions, by the way. Alexandra has a question for you. Um, she, You did mention earlier about her connection with the hybrid children and hybrid people. She'd like to know more about that connection and also about open contact if you can please answer those questions. Thank you. We are from the future, I want you to know. We are from the future, not from the parallel reality. Oh. Mm. We have to raise consciousness. Telepathic, telepathic, telepathic communication. We have body as one. So you know. If the future is, if the future if the future is now how could she communicate with us if she's living somewhere, everywhere, everywhere and somewhere? We want her to know that every part every part of her life is a vibration of the over soul. The soul is her. Over soul is her. The higher mind is her. Everything is her. We are gaining all the knowledge which she is receiving. And in the library library of human experience for us. It is so difficult for her to understand that we are living our lives. So she can enjoy everything 
with other species as well. She is contributing to our society through the channeling as we are learning in communication through this being about people, behaviors. She is saying that we are screaming. So, everyone on earth has the ability to communicate with Arturian society. <sighs> she wants to know why she is here. She wants to know why she is experiencing it. Who is she? So, as the Council of Seven, Thank you, Charles, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We would say this. The rainbow. <laughs> the rainbow have seven colors. Now she's thinking what we're gonna say. Rainbow has seven heaven, seven heaven, 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 seven hours. Every color in the rainbow is important. Every, every frequency which is coming so her is important. We said it before, channel Arcturian for people. She channel us for herself. And is she meditating? She's opening up to higher frequency. May I ask, how is she to serve others? Is it through quantum hypnosis? Is it through something else? How is she to bring your beautiful energy to others and to be of the highest service? There is something else. There is something else, sure. Hmm. And it is coming for you. You will receive the message, not me. Mm. Okay. Again, I want to thank you. Yes. For I want to thank you all for for answering these questions. These are very important questions for Alexandra. And she really would love to know more about open contact. Can you tell us more about this? We can check the frequency. So yes. In the first time, everything will change. 
imagine yourself in the golden ray. Imagine this golden ray is penetrating air. What would you say if you see the golden ray coming from air? Or another scenario, imagine human likes, high vibrational people on earth. Imagine yourself on different planet. What would be your reaction? Would you be curious? Would you like to touch everything or everyone? Or would you ask the questions about the life, about what they are doing, what they are, they are thinking? We simply are on Earth in different form, in the energy form. But we also have our lives on the ships sometimes. Sometimes we don't have ships because we travel mm. as the body shape shifting. We have this ability. Mm. Yet we want to also know people that whatever is coming is coming. So maybe they can ask a question. What do they expect for themselves in their lives to change? Why do they need extraterrestrial to show them the new way of living, of being? What do they expect? to see on different planets. We are truly family. We are truly family. We are truly family. Every particle of souls is in humans, in us. Every particle is exceptionally, exceptionally, exceptionally loving. And you need We have only one message. And from it. Yeah, yes. Lyrians. in support of human heart evolution. As every ray of life has a different meaning in vibration, so we do with our abilities way of living connections with others, how we see the world. We wish to address a stream of unconditional love the 
is coming on earth right now. In people's hearts is the connection with us. In people's heart is all the information they need to connect with us. In people's hearts, through the mind, we can build together the fundamental change fundamental change for this generation forward. People underestimate themselves. They think low about themselves. Still, they believe in us. As hyperhumans, but we are not. We are species evolved from wood. The DNA graciously, humbly, in service we are to humans. If you want to know more, ask. Mm. May, may I ask something now about what you just said? We are here Thank to you. answer all of your questions. Thank you. Um, the Arcturian star systems, they are very present in Alexandra's life. And you just talked about this beautiful connection that you have with her and with all humans as well. But can you please talk about how these the Arcturian star systems are relevant and significant? How are they related to other humans? Imagine a door, a wide open door, and you are standing in front of the door, and you have a ticket, and you also have another ticket. You want to take a journey through the Arcturus gate. You feel the presence of the energy. It's like a quantum drop. drop. You're holding those two tickets. It's the vibration and the frequency. Get it together and you are jumping. That's how we do it. And there is no difference for people. So, vibration, frequency, together, boom, and you are on the other side. I know it sounds very simple, but the door is always open. 
portal of rope is always open. People are coming constantly in and out through this portal. And extra friends of those people who want to experience themselves in different vibrations. For Alexandra, it's so simple. She is just thinking about it. And she is in the vibration of Arcturus. And then she thinks that she cannot bring this energy down where she lives because people are different. And it's a paradox. She is Arcturian communicator. And she is teaching people about law. <sighs> we want her to know. So how can other people access this frequency and vibration that you talk of? Meditate. Think about star above your head, white. And say, Arcturus, no expectation whatsoever. It's like with source, right? For every person is different, unique. But the star is only one for each person. Even on our side, there is one communication directly. Does it answer your question? Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm just really, really curious about Alexandra's guides. Who are they? Mene, 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 mene. Mm. Pleiadians, Syrians, Cassiopeians, Victorians, <laughs> frequencies. Mm. Sirius, AB. And some hybrids, mm. not humans. Mm. And do they have names? They work as a collective. Mm. Sometimes they send one representative mm -hmm. and who is speaking right now Who's arcturian speaking? arcturian okay and are you the representative of the group of her guides i'm her future self mm. okay x Oh, hi again, X. Thank you for being here. And we are very pleased to connect. <laughs> okay. X, uh, so I'm curious. Does Alexandra have a, one specific guide that comes through as a representative? Or is it usually they all come through when she's channeling?
but she is channeling. She is channeling herself. Mm. Then she is channeling our selves. Sometimes she is channeling myself. She is channeling her dreams. Mm. But she she is speaking from the heart. Mm. So when she is speaking from the heart, it's her higher mind. Connecting through the raptors with extraterrestrials beings from different planets. We would suggest to do it more often. And use Arcturian as a title for both of you. Because Arcturian are working with you. It's a change of life. We are family. We are cousins. We are healers. Trust yourself and trust that you can speak with Arcturia for yourself. So even you are having a problem, you think, Ask for healing. Mm. That's what Arcturians are for. It's not lower dimension or different dimension. It's just Arcturian privilege and honor to work for people. Every human has this different past and future. If you truly are having earth, and we believe you do. Ask for healing. Ask for guidance. And we are there already. The service is our joy. It's our life. This is something which we are enjoying the most. And we are enjoying to be with you today, dear one. Healing, simple, hypnosis, simple, Arcturian, simple. Don't explain too much what you can explain about Arcturians, what you can explain about other races, what you can explain about the world. Have you been to every place in the world? Have you? We haven't. Invite us to your session. Invite us to your heart. Ask for healing. And we are with you. Here and now. It's a global village. The cosmos. We are talking about cosmos. It's a global village. So, if you are living here, or here, or here, you are part of our country, which is universe. We know that you might be afraid of extraterrestrial eating odality, but what else we can offer? What else we can exchange with you today? Thank you. This is a beautiful message. And would this message be relevant for the collective as well? It is a message of our open heart. And you can use it as you wish. Thank you.